Hey, don't peel those stickers off. Done Wheels in the first gen. Looking good, looking good. We got a treat for you guys today. A little Q&A here going on. Q&A action with Matthias and Vance. Where are you running off to? Where's she at? She's walking around the truck as I'm walking around. This one. 20 by 12s on the first gen right now. These are actually gonna go on the nasty red. I just put them on this truck until we're actually going to put them on the nasty red. Um, just for now. I also wanna keep them on here, but I don't think we're going to. Why do I get no snack? Well, I'm ready. You don't get no snack just because she ain't a vlogger, bro. Bro, we gotta have that merch. You gotta show them the merch when I say we got that merch I'll, on. I'll be like. Yeah, okay. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely awesome today. We are out in the barn with my two siblings, and we are going to be doing a little Q&A for you guys. As you can see, we're all repping the merch. I got the original Loud and Proud hoodie. He's got the new one, and she's got the one that's unreleased yet, except for today, it just went up. Um, actually, no, she's got one that's special ordered. You can't actually get that crew neck for the men's. Hers is one of one, there's no other, but there are wit ladies crew necks available in different colors. And then there's also men's hoodies. We've got safety green, we got black, we got white. We got a couple different options. We've got some more stuff coming in, but that stuff is live in the link in description for the mark. We are gonna be doing a and a with these guys today. Guys and lady, I guess. I'm gonna go through some of the questions that I kind of picked out. First question, now whoever answers this first gets, why you got Twinkies in your pocket, bro? You gotta lay off on the Twinkies. <laughs> Why does a diesel truck roll cool? Because the compression. What? That's, no, that's not what <laughs> starts. I just remember diesel. talking about compression. What causes it? The truck. That's true. Unburnt fuel. It's excessive fuel. What is your sister's favorite truck? Which of the trucks is your favorite? I already knew this. Yeah, well, but... we did this video like three months ago, and she kind of was like favorite in this one. And now it just looks even better. I mean, look at those wheels. You kind of block part of the wheel, but they, they look they look really good. Which truck is more reliable? Asking you guys. A Fummins? Ford with the Cummins in it or Cummins? It's a Cummins. <laughs> because <laughs> Fords look better, so that's more reliable. A, but I've then never heard the of Cummins, Cummins sound pretty swag. Is, and wait, like, can you restate that? Cummins. It's a Ford with a Cummins engine. They call it Cummins. You would, she wouldn't. She's like not a truck Funyuns. person. It's not Funyuns. We're not talking about Funyuns and Bunyuns, that bro. We're sounds talking about like trucks. like something made up. I would go with the Funyuns. Or just the Cummins in general. Nope. The truck like that. Which is basically that truck or the engine out of that truck put until it's a. I don't understand why that's it. The Funyuns are better. Shoot, where is the radiator located? Probably around this area. Okay, <laughs> narrow it and down. And it's not good if it starts smoking. Okay. I did like Little Fox in the house. <laughs> From Little Fox in the house. <laughs> you can't figure this out? Where is it generally at? I'd say right now it ain't gonna be at the back of the engine bay. Up front? Yeah. Okay, whatever. Are you guys going to do any power mods on the first gen? First gen does have 50 horse injectors, pusher intercool system, pusher cold air intake system, and it has, I believe, a smaller turbo housing, turbine housing, to help it spool faster. So it does have some stuff done. More stuff might come in the future, but not, not gonna say quite yet. If your brother and sister had to choose between any of the trucks to daily drive, which one would it be? Not just your favorite looking truck, per se, but your daily driver, which would be your favorite of all dad's trucks? Or uh, out of all dad's trucks? As King a daily Ridge. driver. Oh, King Ranch. <laughs> yeah, probably. Because I've never driven this one. I've driven his old Whitey and the King Ranch. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'd probably go King Ranch too. It's just the thing's got ten cup holders and like, butt warmers and, and all the you know comfort features. Okay, difference between gas and diesel in trucks. Um, gas is kind of gay. Diesel is better. What's well, just a few differences if you had to list them off based on the diesel is more expensive. Well, That's depends. Yes and no. Yes and no. It depends. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it's not. Any diesel fuel has more power. Diesel, diesel is trucks. better for the environment. Well, no, well no. <laughs> not according to the EPA. But I would say I personally would take a diesel truck because I mean you can make a lot more power and it'll burn a lot less fuel over a gas engine that's equivalent horsepower. So, I mean, that's that's my take on it, but you know what? Is the Cummins giveaway still going to happen? Yes, yes. the Cummins giveaway. Oh, <laughs> they hear me talking all the time. Yes, the Cummins giveaway is still planning on happening. In about two months is when I plan to buy the truck and then begin the Cummins, the giveaway Cummins build. So not a for sure date, but my goal is 50,000 subscribers and buying the giveaway truck by May 1st. And I think we're gonna pass 50,000 subscribers in like the next two weeks. So it's gonna be like over a month ahead of 
my original goal, um, and the giveaway truck should be taking place, and that should happen this summer for sure. That's gonna be like the main highlight of the summer for Loud and Proud. Where does the blinker fluid go? I know this one now. There is no blinker fluid. Blue, you, like, blue. You, yeah, you guys got her from the last Q&A that we did with um, some of the family, you guys. Man, that's funny. They're like, what what's what kind of blinker fluid? What kind of blinker fluid? The blue kind. It was I said blue. It was funny. What generation is my truck out of the Dodge truck? Oh, I got this. What? It's a second gen. Yes. yes I so. knew that, because this is the first. Will the nasty red ever be a farm truck? Yes, nasty red is planned to be a farm truck. That's the goal with that thing. It's just not done yet. So if it's not running, you can't really work it. But that is the plan. So once you get the flatbed on it. Horsepower mods are in place, everything's running. Um, before the transmission is built, though, we gotta take it easy on it, but yes, that is the goal is for that to be the farm truck. What does your little brother want to drive when he turns 16? A car. A Ford Focus? I'm just like, <laughs> no, not a Ford Focus. Those are What's wrong with a Ford Focus? Anybody got time for a Ford you Focus? You know, I do. If you want a decal, link in bio. I have a decal. If I had the Ford choice Focus. and didn't have to worry as much about finances, it'd definitely be probably a Cummins. Yeah. Bro, my boys are savage. Because the only nice Ford trucks that are like your F-350s and the newer ones, and they're, I can say they're probably expensive. Yeah, they're, 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 like they're, they're kind of expensive. <laughs> what do gauges do in the truck? What's the purpose of gauges? So you can tell what your stuff's doing, like boost gauge. Mm -hmm. what do you no. do? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. Mm -hmm. What are the purposes of your trans temp gauge, your EGTs? If you don't break it. Stuff. What are they supposed to do? What's the purpose of them? It's for monitoring stuff. What are you monitoring? Uh, everything. Heat pressure. <laughs> Boost pressure, no, but when it comes to the other stuff, just temperatures. You're monitoring temperatures. You're monitoring I the temps. Knew that. Trans temp, Give me exhaust I temperatures. Don't know. Okay, tell me something I don't know. <laughs> What's the difference between a dually and a single rear wheel axle? Oh, uh, well, dually has two wheels in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, am I going to put a bigger engine in the dually? How much bigger can you go? Probably gonna stick with the 12 out. Are you guys farmers? Hobby farmers. We do not rely on farming as a way of life. We just kind of do it for fun on the weekends or in summer, you know, we do hay and stuff like that, but it's not like a, it's not like, a you know, the, the business. It is a farm business, but it's not like our livelihood. This is for both of you, gas or diesel trucks, and which diesel. of the trucks is your favorites? Well, I, diesel. If you had to pick one truck out of all the trucks that we're working on, well, have been working on over the course of the channel or have purchased, which one? Is your favorite. Well, so far, one of the trucks. One, one King Ranch. Two, I think Nasty Red will be a pretty sick. Is your build. old white one not included? Yeah, that one's not included. Because it's not his truck anymore. But that one, yeah, that one. Yeah, but stuck. you said one of the ones that you've worked on. Yeah, I know. I Well, let's just narrow it to, down to these five. It's going to be sick. A flatbed and stuff, and like sexy tires and stuff. And then, this thing. What, why is this so far back in your. And then the line? dually, and then. Oh, wait. This one is my first favorite. Mm -hmm. And then probably King Ranch. Get your hands off the hottest stuff. If you had to pick a 2018 Ford Power Stroke, a 2018 Dodge Cummins, or a 2018 Chevy Duramax, which would you pick? Ford. See, I don't really know the difference. Ford, just because. Basically a brand new version of this truck, a brand new version of Dad's Block Truck, or the white truck, or a brand new version of basically like the Chevy that I used to have, that black truck, but in a diesel, the brand new I version. About that. Yeah, it's been a while. Ford, because if you're getting all new ones, Fords are definitely the best looking ones in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Definitely by far. Power Stroke fan now, huh? I see how you favor, bro. And we're going for an older truck, it's gonna be coming. Okay, Vanza, what would be your pick of the new trucks? She's like, IDK. Would you consider selling the first gen? Bro. No. No, bro, you got it. You're asking the wrong maybe people. Maybe considering giving it to me. Right? No, no. no. It's not gonna happen. Where are the spark plugs on the truck? Trick question. Trick question. There are not. That is probably gonna be a wrap on the question and answer because that, that was all the ones that I picked that seemed to be like the better choices. There were some in there that were just kind of like, obviously it was gonna be 100% they weren't gonna know anything at all. Why did you ask? Because you weren't gonna know. And then also some of them were like, there was just a ton of them that were for me and the whole point was kind of to do it for them, for like entertaining you guys, just kind of like funny, you know, they don't know much, but you know, I'm still learning too. But Wait, hold up. anyway, it was just, hold up. No, but so that's probably gonna be the end of this video. And if you guys are looking for an amazing camera tripod, I will leave a link to the top side creeper down below. It works great for that and also working on your trucks. And uh, any last words from you?
Cummins for days. Cummins for days. Boy. But the new ones, nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Any last words? Get the merch, bro. Yeah, merch. Link in Actually, bio. this is the best one, but I'm the only one who gets it. Yeah, she's the only one that's going to have a crew neck with the team LMP on it for now. But I'll try to open up more of those options. But there are crew necks for the ladies down there. And I'm just not a crew not neck this, with that. Just yeah, not. just not that one. So um, go get yourself some merch. Link in bio. It's a new drop. It's all new stuff. It's fresh. And uh, yeah, that should be it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Hey, that is going to be a wrap on today's video. It was kind of one of those days I was making phone calls, emails, putting stuff on the merch website, lining stuff up, trying to close some deals on stuff. And I just, towards the end of the day, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a Q&A, something to give these guys something to laugh at, you know, because it was a packed day to do anything else on the barn. But tomorrow, I believe we're going to be continuing on one of the trucks back here. I think you guys know what I mean, if that happens. So thank you guys so much. Share this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a like on this video, comment down below. Subscribe if you are new, join the team, join the family, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew. My dreams began to turn out. I told them it's my turn out. They in the club and I'm in the studio. Guess they gonna learn now. Told myself I want it all. Gotta get it all. Never gonna burn out. I've been busy working. You busy flirting. Guess you get what you deserve now. Whoa.